for question two, part A, you are given a slab of one meters times four meters on plane. And you are also given the fact that the slab is supported by two beams along the edges. And the beams, of course, are supported by something else. Let's say you have four columns right at the corners. So if you have two beams along the two long edges and no beams along the short edge, the slab will just bend along the shorter direction and no bending in the other direction and that's why this is called a one-way slab and to find out the uh, or to determine the number of rebars for this concrete slab it's easy what you need to do is to apply what you learned from beam bending so you, you know that the bending it's along this direction so you cut the section here let's say this is your section AA so section AA looks something like this and then that length is just one meter and you can treat this as a beam supported by the two beams at both ends just like a simply supported ends with two pin supports okay and then the beam will bend like this in second so the question is you first of all have to find out the bending moment at the critical location in this case is at the center of the beam so first of all you find out the self weight of your of your uh, beam which is given by the density of concrete 25 kilonewton per meter cube times the cross-section area of this beam okay so you cut a section here let's say this is your section BB and make sure you can draw section BB so section BB looks something like this this is section BB which is four meters long and 0.15 meters thick so this 25 kilonewton per meter cube times the cross-section area will give you the self weight acting on the beam in the unit of kilonewton per meter by the same token you can find out the life law which is given in the question sheet as 5 kilonewton per meter square and then you multiply remember this 5 kilonewton per meter square is applying at the top of the slab okay so if you multiply by the width of the cross section that will give you 20 kilonewton per meter length along this beam so so the self weight is 15 kilonewton per meter and life flow is 20 or in other words the total low is simply 35 kilonewton per meter and then based on that you know this is just a beam and support at both ends and you have 35 kilonewton per meter of loading acting on the top so you can usually find out the bending moment at the center and the detailed procedure I'm not going to repeat because you should have done it long time ago so I just write down the bending moment at center is simply equal to 4.38 kilo newton meter and this is a second moment well that means the tension is at the top, sorry, is at the bottom so the reinforcements will be placed at the bottom of the slab 
And then to find out the number of reinforcement required at the bottom of the slab, you simply calculate or equate this moment, changing it to the units of Newton millimeters. So that will be times 10 to the power 6. And on the right hand side, you will have the tensile strength of reinforcement times the number of bars times, let's say you are using T10, diameter 10, so that the area of each diameter, the area of each rebar is 10 square pi d square over 4. So that will give you the total tension force in the reinforcement times the internal lever arm, which is 0.75 percent. 0.75 times the height of the cross section, which is 0.15 meters, and you change it to a unit of millimeters, so that that's 150. And from this equation, you can find out the number of rebars is only 1.08, or rang up to 2. That means you only need two numbers of and of course, this in this example, the number of reinforcement looks not very reasonable. Okay, so if this, if in practice the span of the slab is a bit longer, then the number of reinforcing bars that you need or that you need to provide is a lot more than just two T10. And make sure you know that these reinforcements are arranged in this direction on plane and in the cross section in the cross section that should be placed close to the bottom of your slab because this slab is under sacking so the tension is at the bottom and it's bending in this direction so the reinforcement are arranged in this shorter direction